Oh, happy new week guys. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I know why because you have not subscribed, Abby. No, you have not subscribed, right? Go ahead and subscribe. One, yeah, thank you. I will give you time to subscribe because I know that you need these good nuggets. These important nuggets. Uh-uh, you guys are looking so fun. I can see you through the other side. And I hope you are doing well. Again, if this is your first time here, do not forget to subscribe, like, give this video a thumbs up, send me questions, write comments below, things that you want to know, please do so, okay? I hope last week the video has really helped you, especially if you're enrolling into uh, a community college, you already saw the first part, so let's just go and uh, quickly recap on what we talked about uh, last week. I only gave you five guidelines. We talked about admission, applying for FAFSA, knowing your expenses, uh, also scholarship number two, your curriculum guide, making sure that you know and you're aware, savvy about what you need, and also connecting to your academic advisor number three. Number four, making sure that you register for class classes on time immediately as soon as they open number five connecting to your future or potential universities that you're going to and asking them if these classes that you're taking or will be taken are transferable right so number six my favorite one and eh? because i used to be a what you call a pain i was a pain to most of my professors that you know get to know your professors Number six, your friends are good and it's always good to have one person in the class that you can, you know, maybe when you miss class, you can connect with, get their notes and all that. That's wonderful. But number six is to get to know your professors. It is so important for us immigrants. We are just like, because we have a different background, different thing about how we see professors back home. Professors are like gods. You cannot just talk to them anyhow. But these people are, these people are here to help you. That's the difference between back home and here. So you can go to them and say, ah, Dr. So-and-so-and-so, -and -so, what books do you recommend for me to read? You know, my background is not English. What do you think, you know, can really help me? Especially if this is an English class, you can go and ask them, like, what books do you think I should be reading? You know, give me recommendations of books. Another thing we will be doing is that in the future, I'll be giving guys recommendations of books that I read and I'm reading to help me, okay, guys, we'll do that. If you guys want to know more about what I read, definitely, Put in the comment uh, but get to know your professors okay go and, and and talk to them you know ask them questions be present in the classroom you may be tired you are coming from work or you are a parent or you know you are you know your wife your husband you are tired but when you come be present get to know them when classes you know school finish don't just rush and say ah me i need to go to job no 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 let everybody go and then you have time you go to him and say ah professor this the topic is very relevant sometimes you know it's relevant but <laughs> still go and talk to them small so get to know your professor okay or your professors uh it's very important number seven take advantage of student services take advantage of student services one thing we as immigrants in general do is that we go to class we go home class home class home no take advantage of student services most of you guys cannot go to day school so make sure that you know what are the requirements for night school? You don't know. So you because you don't ask, okay? What are the requirements for night school? Can you go to night school? Would the credit still count towards your uh, program? So those are the first, that's like one thing I always think about when I'm thinking about student services. Night schools, night school is such a powerful weapon that you can use if you know you cannot come in the morning, okay? Number two, office hours. Make sure that while you are taking advantage of these student services, you go to office hours. It's on the syllabus. It's on the syllabus. I used to go to office hours. Sometimes when they see me coming, it's like they have nightmare. <laughs> this is my professor. They say, ah, here she goes. And me say, how are you? I say, I'm great. But they said, you want an A? A? Here, here, here. Take, go, 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 go. <laughs> they are tired of me. I used to be, I used to go to office. I would sleep in that office until I get what I need. So take advantage of those office hours because that's how they get to know you as well. Okay, guys, make sure you go to office hours. Number three out of the uh, take advantage of student services is development workshops. Guys, development workshops, especially immigrants, especially if your language is not English, development services, development workshops. Make sure that you just go and Google events on campus this weekend. 
if you have small time instead of sitting at home and saying i'm gonna go watch a game or, or watch a show or watch a movie watch this go to those development workshops because they're not just you're not just developing your knowledge you're developing your skills your networking skills because that, that's what makes you a scholar we all can read books but not everybody can talk about what they learn in the book you know how to talk to people how to connect to people connect to other groups of people if that that's that's what makes you a different person okay so development workshops are something that you should attend and community colleges are known for development skills network skills they're known for events like that okay so start doing your research go to events like that get your small bottle of water go and sit down register for those classes most of the time they are free and they're on weekends or they're after school if you can make it please go okay so take advantage of student services number eight I know that a lot of you guys think oh, they don't have these internships internships I have I'm putting the link one of the links that I, I did the little research and I saw internships for community colleges so please click on it and if it's in alignment with your uh, program or anything please do apply but you can also Google it Google internships don't just say that it's only two year program or I just want to take these classes because that's a, something Africans. What is that line that they use? I just want to do something that I can just find a job quickly. Uh -uh. No, no. Finding a job is not the point. Chadwick Boseman said it's not just the money. It's not just getting the money. It's your purpose. It's the purpose. It's the purpose of you going. Money would come. Okay, guys, money will come. But when you start doing this internship, sometimes me, I interned at a place when I was an undergraduate student for four years without pay. Four years without pay. But can I tell you guys this? I interned at the African Services Coalition, opened a door for me for UNICEF, where I got paid. So sometimes the seed, sometimes the beginning of the seed, you will not get money. But that networking that you're doing at that place, you're giving them, you go and do small internship for two hours, you tell them, they will take it, they, regardless of whatever you're willing to offer. If you find an internship that can pay you, wonderful. But if not, but you know it's in alignment with what you want to do, do it. Give them two, three hours. But that seed that you're putting down will become a tree because those are the people that will give you recommendation. They will open doors. Okay? Money does not open doors. People do. People do. People open doors. People, people, you don't make money because I say I, I have this degree. Now I'll go make money. No, no, no. You are interviewing with people. They see you, they see your networking skills, they see who you are as a human being. That's how you get those jobs that will pay you 200000 a year. Okay? So please. Think about internships. I'll put the link down and uh, also do your own research, okay? Anything that is in alignment with what you want to do, make sure that you find an internship, okay? While you are there, all right? Number nine, my favorite one. And talking about number nine, uh, I think last week I talked to you guys about the tea and the aloe. Yes, yes, these two are my babies, guys. Please do get them energy to the fullest if you're studying at night or you're writing you're typing your paper make a hot tea drink it while you're working okay guys it would help you so much okay it will help you um see this thing <laughs> it will help you a lot okay so i'll put again the link of the tea and the aloe in the description box so you will get it 20 percent off uh with these two number nine is working out yes when you feel better you look better, you want to do things, you want to move, you're, you're active, your mind, your brain, everything is active. So when I say workout, people thinking I have to go to the gym and lift weights or I have to be like Esther. Ah, you cannot be like me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no. Uh, no. Oh, oh. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> this one, a proper game. Proper game. Things that I do, you cannot do. It's not that I'm doing something, something. No, 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 no. It takes years of hard work and dedication. Eh, I'm not where I am just because. Eh? Now, proper work. But no, seriously, guys, on a serious note, working out can be walking. It can be swimming. It can be playing soccer. It can be anything you have to do to help your body. 
cleanse for all the dirty, toxic, all these things, especially with what we eat. Eh? So, yes, number nine is important for your academic career. Because if you are active, when you feel better, when you don't wake up like, ah, I this school again, no. Two, three times a week, it's very important to go for a nice, you know, go for a workout. Help your brain, help your mind, help your body. Because the better you feel, the more you want to do, okay? So number nine is workout. Oh, finally, number 10, the fear of circumstance. The fear of circumstance. This is not a guideline per se, but the fear of circumstance can be the fear of age, the fear of I'm a wife, the fear of I'm a dad, the fear of I'm too old, I'm 40, I'm 45, because for us Africans, when you hate a certain age, it's like a death sentence. Ah, no, you, at this age, you go to school? Ah, why? <laughs> Are you okay? Why don't you go find a job? <laughs> and, um, and I think that's what kills us because we love to listen to people so much. It's like, ah, it's like our thing. Africans, that's like, you know, I, I would say immigrants in general. You will not let the fear of circumstance stop you. When you want something deep in your heart. Guys, I've been rejected by eight schools when I was, I was applying for my PhD. Back and back. We, we regret, we regret, we regret, we regret, we regret. I said, ah, ah. God, where are you now? If I fail, you fail. You said that in the midst of my darkness that you will shine light. Shine light right now. In the depth of my heart, that's what I want. So I call upon it right now that I will be accepted into this program. My circumstances and my fear of rejection will not stop me to apply. So I took a rest and I, and I went back in made a stronger personal statement, took the GRE again, a, a, a contacted advisors, did what I have to do, and I got in. I don't care what your fear is. I don't care what is telling you that you cannot. I don't care what is telling you that, oh, you know, you are, you are an immigrant, you have accent, you are coming from this, you are coming down, you are too old, you are too this, you are too that. You are, you are not good looking. Whatever, whatever it is that you are fearing, I rebuke that today in the name Jesus, that you, whatever you want to do, you can do it. So this turn for me is very important for me. I want you to know that, that no fear can stop you from what you want. Not age, not your environment, not your sexuality, not your dialect, not your accent, not what you stand for. I said, tell God what you want. Tell him what you want. Now work on it. Work on it. Just wake up every day. Endlessly. That's why for me, when I go and I just want to say thank God to, so I want to say thank to somebody. I cannot thank myself. I cannot thank my friends. I cannot thank anybody. I have to thank him. Because it's in the midst of my darkness that he showed up. He showed up. So forget about the fear. Start calling on somebody that can help you. And let me tell you today, your family cannot help you. Your friends now that they are calling you sis and bro, they cannot help you. Your cousins and all these people you have in your life, they cannot help you. The one that can help you is up there. Or however, you, it can be left or right for you, it doesn't matter. This is Esther. So let's do a quick recap on what we talk about today. Okay, guys? Number six, I said get to know your professors. Okay, it's very important. Get to know them. Get to know somebody also in the class that you can, you know, that can help you. Um, number seven, take advantage of student services. Okay, student services could be office hours, night school, and, and development workshops. Number eight, do research on internships. Those are things that open doors. Okay, number nine, work out. Get some exercise in your body. It is very, very important. Number ten, do not allow the fear of circumstance, the fear of your life to stop you. It cannot stop you. You know why it cannot stop you? You know why I cannot stop you? Because you have made it this far. You have, you have, you have fought all that bigger battles. Guys, this is Esther. Thank you so much for watching me. Thank you guys for what you guys do every single week. I thank you guys. Do not forget to subscribe, like, give me a thumbs up and send questions. I'll talk to you guys next week. Salut tout le monde, c'est Esther, n'oubliez pas, abonnez-vous à la chaîne. 
Miente bonitos. No olviden, eh. Suscríbete al canal. Hey guys, don't forget, subscribe to the channel.